What are volts and amps? Well, first, if you look at a battery, you can see there's a positive side and a negative side. Electrons aren't really all that fond of each other and want to flow towards the positive side of a battery. The greater the difference in charge between the two sides, the more the electrons want to move over. This difference in charge is what we call voltage, and it provides a certain amount of push behind the electrons. Now, what you just saw was electrons move from the negative side to the positive side, but the charge, or what we refer to as electricity, actually moves in the opposite direction, from positive positive to negative, and at the rate this charge moves we call amps. Now when working with making circuits we have to know about one more component, it's called resistance. Resistance is the opposition of the flow of the charge or current through the circuit. Some materials or components have more or less resistance than others. Voltage, current, and resistance have a special relationship together called Ohm's Law, where if you know two you can calculate the other. For instance, if you wanted to know voltage, all you need to know is current and resistance and multiply them together. To find current, you just have to take voltage and divide it by resistance, and to find resistance, take voltage and divide it by current. And if you're wondering why I is used to abbreviate current, it's actually for the French word that means intensity. And now that we know a little bit about electricity, we can go on and create our own circuits. And if you want to see more, make sure to like on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and subscribe.